So in this video, should be a quick one, I'm going to show you what I do when I'm inking metal. Usually in this sort of, fat, like, a, a, like a pole, in this case, machine man's extended arm, where you got the segments. I'll just do it and um, you'll see what I'm talking about. So first of all, as I've said in previous videos, I ink on a layer that is set to monochrome. The reason I do that is the line is either black or white, and it's easy to get selections right up to the edge, which hit your magic wand, which is W if you don't know shortcuts yet. And I'll make the selection. This will make sense in a second. Once you have the selection made, you have this, this menu on the bottom, and there's a whole lot of different options. You can expand what you've selected or shrink. I'm gonna shrink, okay. Um, the shrinking width, that's up to you. It depends on the size of the piece you're doing, what you're doing. There's no, sim there's, there's no one number you always put in there. Let's just try three and see how that goes. That looks pretty good. So let's take a peek at what I did before. So it looks like the light's coming here and it's, it's hitting this part of the, the metal pole. So that means we do this. There we go. So... Now that I have that, and then once you've over selected everything, you go back to your magic wand and then subtract the, the black. So again, because it's the monochrome layer, it goes right to the edge. Once you have that selected, you then take your brush. I have it kind of large, 20. That's, that should be good for this demonstration. And you draw your shine through it, and there you go. I mean, it's not earth shattering, but it is pretty cool. So I've already got that break, and it just has that nice metal look to it. So I hope that that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video or my videos in general, I would appreciate it if you would like, leave me a comment, definitely, and subscribe. That'd be cool, too. All right, until next time, thanks a lot.